Hello, my beautiful fashionistas. Welcome back to Ivono and Ifre Yuji. So I have this yellow fabric that we are going to be using today. It is a stretchy kind of a sweater-like fabric. It was a former dress. I just, you know, undid it so that we use it for this project. It was a dress that I had never worn. So I, I, I decided to just use it for this uh, project. So uh, we are going to be cutting on pattern papers first to get a perfect pattern to use. So now guys, from the top I marked a line that is half an inch from the pattern paper from the top. And from that starting line I went, um, I went down and marked the waistline at, six, at 16 inches. Then from those 16 inches... I went down by 8 inches to mark the hip line, but that won't be necessary. But I wanted to show it to you. I wanted to place it here so that I show you that it won't be necessary, as you'll be seeing later. So from the waistline, still I marked 11 inches for the crotch line. How I got the crotch line is I divided the hip line, which is 40 inches by 4. I got 10 inches. And the 10 inches, I added 1 inch to get the 11 inches where I marked that crotch line. Yes, we need that crotch line for this project. So at this starting line, I'm going to mark half of the shoulder measurement. So I have 7.5 inches, but this is a sleeveless uh, bodysuit or swimsuit. So I reduced it by one inch and I marked six and a half inches and I added half an inch for sewing allowance. So I went below and marked one inch for the shoulder slant. And guys, for the neckline width, I'm marking three inches. Three inches. You can even uh, mark three and a half or four depending on your on what you're going with so for the neckline depth also i marked five inches five inches because i want i want it to be a little bit below so that the head can pass through i won't be using a zipper or any fasteners for this project so i need it to be a little bit bigger so from the neckline with it i just connected to the one inch shoulder slant and marked that line now from that one inch shoulder slant i'm going to mark half of the armhole measurement in this case i'm using seven and a half inches and now whatever i have here at the shoulder line it has to be parallel along here so that we form a chest line and also connect these two points to form this straight line that we are going to be using to cover out the armhole so now this is the chest line let me just label it C. So now for this straight line, uh, I, anyway, before that, I'm going to mark a quarter of the bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 34 inches. So dividing it by four, I get uh, eight and a half and I mark it along this chest line. So I decided to add half an inch there you will be seeing later so this line i'm going to get its midpoint it is seven and a half its midpoint is a uh, is here and at that midpoint i move in by half an inch so that i can cover out my armhole so i'm just going to connect those three points from the shoulder slant to the midpoint then into where the um, bust measurement is with a curve like this so i'll be using this same curve for both the front and the back so here i'm going to add just half an inch for the sewing but my fabric is really stretchy that it, that is not even necessary so along the waistline again i'm going to divide the waist measurement by by four waist measurement is 28 inches divide uh dividing it by four i get seven and I make it I mark it down. So guys, this hip line we won't be using it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cross it X. We won't be using it. Don't use the hip line. So you can even leave marking it. So what we are going to do is go, we're going to get the midpoint from the waistline, guys, to the crotch line and get that midpoint. 
and this is going to be our new hip line so the midpoint of the waistline and the crotch line is what we are going to be using when it comes to the bodysuit or the swimsuit so i'm going to mark the hip measurement divided by four 40 inches divided by four i get 10 and i mark it there so from the crotch line guys i'm going down by two inches and also across by two inches so you can even use one and a half inches across so i marked two inches below the crotch line and then inside by two inches so now we're just going to be connecting the point so from the the from the from here where the armhole stopped i'm connecting to the waistline then from the waistline i'm just going to connect to where we marked the hip measurement like this with a slight curve then guys now from here i'm going to connect to the from the from where the we, we marked the hip measurement i'm going to connect to the two inches below the crotch line with a slight line or slightly curved so it is kind of curved inwards so uh to get the perfect one just mark about five inches or six inches from just the way you're seeing me here diagonally like this make sure it goes about five inches or six inches so i marked six inches but i realized it was a little bit much as you'll be seeing later on so it can either be curved inwards or uh, a little bit outwards depending on the shape but you're seeing that we are kind of forming a pant shape here so here i have six inches but mark five for your for yours because i changed mine too so now we've marked the front piece and we're just going to cut it out and form the the back pattern piece so now let me just cut it out so it will be unfold as we are cutting so on top here i added half an inch along the shoulder please mark that don't forget it so now i'm going to get this other paper to form the back pattern so this is the front so i'm going to bring my back paper pattern paper and then place the front on on top of it so it is better to just pin everything down and this is what i have after pinning it so you have to make sure that along the crotch here you have some excess paper we're going to add some more inches down there so now guys what i'm going to do for the back the only like change that i'm marking all that i'm adding i'm just going to go down for the back neckline depth uh, to eight inches i want it to be eight inches and the neckline with it will just remain the same so it's going to be curved i want it to be eight inches because i want to be adding in zippers uh this will be the pathway into this bodysuit that eight inches can even uh, be 10 or 11 so now these other parts will just remain the same the sides the armhole the shoulder and now here where the front stopped i'm just going to go down by four more inches for the back remember at the back we have the bum bum so i need more four inches i'm not going to add sewing allowance because the fabric is really stretchy and then move in by two inches just as we did for the front but guys i think it is best to move in by one and a half inches i realized i had excesses so diagonally also make sure that the the back up, uh shape is uh, about seven inches diagonally from where the hip line starts from just as we did for the front so this shape can either be curved towards the inside part or towards the outer part so i curved it a little bit towards in 
and then connect it just as you see me doing and after that simply i just cut it out so depending on how modest you want yours to be that is what you consider as your shaping around the bum bum or around the crotch or around the hip area so now this is our back it is just a little bit uh, bigger or longer along the crotch so i'm going to cut on the fabric and this is what i have so when you're cutting uh, uh, at, along the fabric make sure your fabric is on fold so this is what i get when it is on fold so this is for the front this is what we have this is the front piece that is how it looks like and this is the back also let me just remove the paper and keep them for any other project so remember i told you this was a dress so i have that line but just ignore it at the back this is how it looks like so now we can start preparing for sewing so now guys to sew this up what i'm going to do anyway guys by the way if you are using lining you have to cut them also and then sew accordingly with your linings but i won't be using any linings i'm just going to use some bias strips uh, to finish the raw sides and also sew everything up so what i'm going to do um i'll place right sides facing each other and join the shoulders then use some bias strips to finish the neckline so i cut the strips of the same fabric they are just long strips but the width is one and a quarter inches i'm going to use it to finish the neckline both for the front and the back and also i'll be using the samba strips to finish uh along the the crotch or along the hip side and also for this for the armholes so this is what i was meaning along here i'll use by strips to finish it up for both front and back along this area i'll be using by strips guys so let me just go to the sony machine so now this is what i have so far i've finished uh the neckline this is the back neckline so this is what i meant i sew first onto the wrong side then flip it onto the right side then fold it then run a top stitch on either side and finish that so guys as i said i'll just be folding in along the along the armhole i realized it was a little bit much i want i want the finished product to be about two inches along the shoulder so i won't be using by strips along the along the armhole so this is what i have for the front also finished the neckline and also finished along the hip or the crotch this is how it looks like my fabric was really stretchy so this is what i have here i'll be just double folding along the armhole so now by the way i didn't join the shoulders i'm just going to join them after finishing the neckline so now after that guys i'll just be joining along the crotch here if you have a fastener just add those but i won't be adding fasteners this fabric really stretches very well i can use the back all the neckline area to enter into this uh swimsuit or the bodysuit so then i'll just join the sides and everything will just be done 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 so let me just take this to the sewing machine and show you the finished product and this is what we have this is what we have i just love the outcome 
and because of the way this fabric stretches this can fit some board of hip measurement 40 42 44 even up to 48 that's what i realized so this is the front and it came out so beautifully i think you're seeing the crotch area and what i loved most guys was the back the back came out so perfect very perfect so this is how it looks like you can make your swimsuit or your bodysuit in any fabric but it is most preferably a stretchy fabric so at the money clean guys this is how it looks like i love the sides um i think you're seeing so you're realizing i told you that when you're diagonally measuring how you're going to shape this part uh, for the front make sure it is about five inches diagonally when you're measuring so you're seeing that i have some excess and also allow around the crotch area where we went in by two inches just go in by one and a half inches so that it comes out perfectly but this is also okay but i think the other would have been a little bit better to remove this excess and also shape this a little bit inside yeah that is what i would have done differently but otherwise i i love what i see and this is how the back came out so beautifully guys so beautifully it is modest and very fine so that is it for today guys you can also make yours and tag me on instagram at yvonne winifrey ug remember also to subscribe and i think i'll be seeing you soon so see you by the way this can be a bodysuit that you can tuck in and also it can be a swimsuit for your swimming see you